Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Miraculous Ladybug Zag Heroes marionette unboxing. These are made by Playmates Toys, which is not a super common brand in the US, but they do make a lot of the, uh, a lot of the Barbie licensed stuff, like the styling heads and things like that I found out the other day. And uh, they are very cool. They do handle some of the Disney stuff as well. But I like these because they're really well articulated. And I picked up this Marinette because I wanted her casual outfit. This is the only one that they've done in just the casual outfit. Uh, these retail for $19.99. I picked it up at Walmart. Uh, they are very cool. They're pretty detailed for what they are. Uh, these are the other, the other four that are available. We've got Queen Bee, Cat Noir, Rena Rouge, and Ladybug, and this is Marinette. Uh, we do get her little uh, miraculous friend up here. Also, she's very cute. So what we're going to do is we are going to try to get her out of the box in one fell swoop. Always be the easiest thing, but it's easier than trying to pry this stuff away from the plastic. Okay, so here she is. And we can use our flipper or our what you would call it to. Uh, Kind of free her from that. And so here she is. She's very cute. Like, I like this outfit. She is going to be a little bit smaller than Barbie scale because these are 10 inch dolls. And Barbie is uh, 11 and a half. So these are more like. Well, because they're supposed to be younger. So, I mean, you could say these are more in scale to, like, Stacy or Skipper. But they're very cute. So, here she is. Try to get all this stuff out at the same time. So here is her little friend. This is the same one we got with her in the uh, in the ladybug pack. Now, if you're if you're looking to get all of them, there is actually an exclusive to Walmart four pack that you can buy that has ladybug, Rena Rouge, uh, Queen Bee, and Cat Noir. Here's her little purse. It's got her little stylized M for Marinette. She's a fashion designer in the show because she's in Paris. She's in Paris. So she's got some peekaboo kind of like polka dots in her collar and then on her cuff. She's got a shirt that's actually just a tank top underneath there. She's got some stretchy pants and some cute little flats. And she's got her kind of signature uh, got her signature little poofs, little ponytails. Uh, this head is like entirely hair gel though, so I wouldn't try to restyle this and try to get it back into this because it's just not going to work. But the beautiful thing about these dolls is they are super articulated. Like that is awesome. Like look at that. She folds up really well. She can go into like a full split pretty much. Like, I mean, she is perfect for superhero. She is almost at the point where she is more of an action figure. Uh, as you can see, she's got a pretty decent neck. I'm not sure what the head joints look like under here because she's a very hard headed doll. So I'd have to put her under, probably have to boil her head uh, to get it out. But as you can see, she's also got her little ladybug earrings 
and things. Uh, no, no real articulation here at the wrist on her compared to Adrian, but it does go lateral, just not like a normal articulated wrist, but very cute and worth it, I think. This is a $20 doll. It feels like a $20 doll. It's got the articulation that you want in a normal like action figure doll. Uh, she does come with her accessory and her little friend. I think her little friend can fit inside the purse. Let's see. Yeah, he can sit inside the purse like that. So that's cool. And so, and the clothes are pretty well made. Like, I would probably try to put this outfit on a uh, Skipper doll um, if I was feeling it. But, yeah, it's very cute. Again, I didn't get the staples all the way out of her head. Uh, I need to pull those out right now while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, they're going to stay in there. No, nope, thought I got it. Didn't get it. No, this one's just going to have to staple them. I'm just going to nip them down. So we got those off. So this is what she looks like. Let me show you what her body looks like underneath. Um, all of her clothes come off pretty easily. Um, her pants are just like stretchy material. And then her shirt has a half open, which I don't love when they do that on doll shirts. Like I should just be able to take the shirt off like like in the back. Shouldn't have to slide it up over the entire body to take it off. But it does have the Velcro. So it's a cute little shirt. And then here is her body underneath. No chest articulation, which I would love. Uh, but that is the arm articulation. Again, here is the leg articulation. So we've got the double jointed knees and elbows. Again, we saw those hip joints that can go like that. So she is good to go on there. So I love those. And she sits at a 90 degree with no difficulty. She can sit like that also. And no worries. My only qualm with her is that we don't have the full articulation here at the wrist. But other than that, She's very cute. I think she's worth it as far as uh, Playline dolls go. I think $20 is a fine price point. It's not a perfect price point, but it does uh, kind of fit in line with some of the uh, other competitors. And this is a licensed brand based on a show uh, that's pretty popular in Europe. And it's starting to, starting to get popularity here in the U.S. also. But it's one of those rare, not made in America or Japan animations that's gotten popular in the last couple of years. So it's actually really cute. I think it's all on Netflix now, but I think that may have been why it got popular is it got picked up by Netflix. And then this is like, uh, I think, because I'm not sure if it says Netflix original now. It might say that. They love to buy up shows, rights to shows, and then just say it's a Netflix original. It's like, no, that was made by somebody else. Um, so, again, very cute outfit. It's very true to what she's wearing in the show. Uh, the shoes are really only going to fit on this doll. Uh, but they're still very cute. So, if you guys have any questions about her, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, if you guys want to see comparisons between her and the Ladybug doll and the Transforming doll, uh, let me know and I'll put them up on Instagram. And other than that, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Follow for more. Thanks, y'all. Be good. Bye.